What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 10 Ranked Battle video. Now, I did not play for like two seasons worth of Ranked, so I'm only in Great Ball 8 right now. I did stream a couple of matches a few days ago, but I haven't played since then. But today we're going to use this Regidrago team that I built a while ago, and honestly I still think it's pretty good despite it being built in the early metagame. Let's go ahead and try it out. The rental code for this team won't be available for a couple of days, though. I do have to sort a couple of things out in terms of EVs. For now, we're using like an imperfect version of the team. But yeah, if you guys enjoy this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And that's my comment question of the day. Which Reggie Drago set, whether it be Scarf, Specs, or any other kind of set, do you use when you use Reggie Drago? I'd like to know. I'm personally a big fan of Scarf. I think it's very fun for catching uh, teams with very few dragons off, or not very few dragons, but very few fairies off guard. But yeah, oh, we're in Great Ball 9, apparently. <laughs> so we got 10 battle points. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> but yeah, here's the team. Uh, I forgot to rename it, but it is Focus Ash Regieleki, Substitute, uh, Close Combat, Behemoth Blade, Protect, Zacian. We have Choice Scarf, Reggie Drago. Standard Assault Vest and Standard Safety Goggles, Rillaboom and Incineroar, and a Culberberry Fake Out, Trick Room Psy Shock, and uh, Protect Gothitelle. Something to note is I had to make this video. I was sitting there watching Big Time Rush, getting ready to go home for the weekend because I am at my apartment, but I'm going to visit my parents' house for a little bit this weekend, and I forgot to make videos. I have to get this video done, and I have to bring my stuff to make a video at home while I'm there, you know to get that uploaded tomorrow, because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. But I haven't done that. So this is today's video, and tomorrow we're gonna have a little change of location. It might sound a little bit different just acoustically, but just a heads up, you know? And I am gonna try to stream tonight. We'll see if it works out. Uh, the internet in my parents' house is pretty bad, but we'll see how it goes. All right. Ooh, okay. So we're facing a Calyrex Shadow Rider team. Uh, they do have two fairies. They do, do, do have two fairies. However, however, I could actually lead off with Regieleki and Regidrago because I am specifically speed crept. So after an Electroweb, I will be able to outspeed a um, a Calyrex, and that should allow me to drop a drop a Draco like I'm freaking poking him. Uh, drop a <laughs> drop a uh, Draco Meteor onto it. Obviously, I want to bring the Incineroar as well. I'm gonna assume that's Urshifu Water. Uh, maybe I just bring Regidrago in the back for cleanup. Yeah, I think I'll do that. We'll go, we'll go Zacian, Regieleki on lead, Incineroar, and Regidrago, and I think that'll be fine. I could also bring Rillaboom, and that might not be a bad idea. Actually, I'm kind of feeling the Rillaboom. I am kind of feeling the Rillaboom. And they do have two fairies. Mm, you know, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, whether we take like 10 losses or, or three wins or whatever it ends up being, I'm going to upload the video. This is this is a fun team. It is a serious team, but it is a fun team as well. So I'm going to do my best to use Reggie Drago for the video. All right. Reggie Lucky Whimsicott. Uh, I'm pretty cool with that. I'm pretty cool with that. I should just be able to pick up a KO on the Whimsicott, but I am kind of concerned about taking an Electroweb here. So I think what I'll do is I'll Volt Switch on the Whimsicott. Regieleki is likely not the Focus Sash user. I could also Electroweb this turn, because it could be like Fake Tier shenanigans, which is kind of concerning. Uh, maybe I Electroweb this turn. Protect. And the next turn, I can switch out into my Incineroar. Yeah, okay. They're probably just going to try to take out my, my Zacian immediately. That makes me think it might even be like Specs Regieleki. As I win the speed tie, which is nice. Let's see if they Electroweb. I wouldn't be surprised if they Electroweb, but I would assume that they would actually just go for like a Thunderbolt. As their Eject button, okay. So maybe it is Sash on the Alecky. Alright. 
So there's the Tapu Lele. Um, I should just be able to get rid of the Aleki this next turn, because I can Electroweb and then KO it, since I should outspeed the, uh, the Aleki with my own, as long as they don't Electroweb here. Is they Thunderbolt? That's great. Yeah, uh, I can take this Aleki. Typically, Tapu Lele are Scarfed. So I'll just Electroweb and get rid of this thing. It should be in Behemoth Blade range, and I did not PP max my Behemoth Blade. That's going to be an issue in this video. I guarantee you it's going to be an issue. I forgot to do that. <laughs> so yeah, that's why the rental code is not available yet. I forgot to do that as well. So send back in the Whimsicott. Let's see if they protect the Aleki. As they do not, they're just going to give me it, which is awesome. And Fake Tears also doesn't work in Psychic Terrain, so I should be fine just to, like, target Whimsicott. Nice, that thing's gone. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And there's the Tapu Lele. Um, like I said, they shouldn't be able to KO me here. I think what I'll just do is Electroweb again and target the Lele. Yeah, that should be fine. Because most Lele are Scarf and they shouldn't be able to KO me. Even with like a Helping Hand hit, just because Zacian's so bulky. And I haven't taken any damage yet. Also, like I said, they're typically Scarf, so they shouldn't be able to protect here. They go for Nature's Madness. So that actually leads me to believe that they might not be Scarf, because that doesn't seem like a very good move for Scarf Lele. But I should, just, I should just pick up the KO anyways. I didn't take any damage on my Aleki, which is pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get my Zacian out of here. On this next turn, because I really don't want to have to deal with the... Uh, <laughs> With the Calyrex Shadow Rider coming, uh, going forward. Because Zacian should always be in range of that now. Kind of wish I brought the Rillaboom. That'd make this a lot easier, but, you know, my, my YouTuber hubris. I was like, I want to bring the, the Regi Drago. It'll be good for content. Might cost me the match if I don't play carefully. I think my play is going to be to Thunderbolt this Whimsicott. Because that should pick up a KO. I, I double protect first. I'll say that. Just a scout. Stay helping hand. Okay. So yeah, my play is going to be to go into my Incineroar and Thunderbolt this, this Whimsicott. Because that should always pick up the KO, and then I have my Sash, and then I just protect an Electroweb, and then I win with Reggie Drago. All right. Now we Thunderbolt the Whimsicott for the KO, go hard into the Incineroar, our Sash should let us live on our Regieleki. And if they Helping Hand again, that's just great for me. Nice, okay, yeah. So I should KO the Whimsicott here, unless it's a really, really bulky one. This will hurt, though. But Incineroar takes less than half, so I feel pretty confident we win. And they reveal Life Orb. Nice, that's a KO. And that should just be a win. Just straight up, you know? Weirdness disappears. I should be able to just go ahead and click a Protect here. And can I win with my Reggie Drago if I do this? Yeah, they have one more turn left to Tailwind. Are they minus one speed already? No, they're minus one attack. Okay. And I'll go for the Parting Shot here. And that'll let me get in my Reggie Drago. And then I can click uh, Electroweb plus uh, Draco Meteor, and that'll win. No crits. Awesome. Oh, 
and then I get my thumbnail. It, this is this was all about the thumbnail. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. This end game was 100% for the thumbnail. All right, getting the boy. And we're specifically EV'd, so we outspeed Calyrex with our scarf if it's been electrowebbed. Perfect, perfect. Um, the reason I'm going to Draco Meteor and not Dragon Energy is specifically because I'm scared that my Electroweb will miss. Actually, should I just Dragon Energy? I'm just going to Dragon Energy. Why not? I'm going to land the Electroweb. There we go. That's a win. And now we should be faster. There we go. And there's our thumbnail. Goodbye. <laughs> that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I'm really happy we got the thumbnail. That's that's what this entire video is about. It's about the thumbnail. You might you might say, Marcos, you love creating really creative teams. You love using really off the wall Pokemon. You are wrong. I just like the thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep going. So if I, I think if I win one more, I'll be in Ultra. Maybe two more. Probably just, probably just two more. Ooh, cool. There's no U in there, so I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. Um, ooh, okay. You really, really, really hate Regieleki. Because Ludicolo never actually outspeeds Regieleki, even with, like, rain up. So that's, that's real interesting. Uh, you also have no Tailwind. So what I could do is actually lead off Regieleki plus Gothitelle and be pretty safe. It's actually really safe. That's like absurdly safe. Um, yeah, I think I'll do that. I can also lead off Regieleki Zacian and it'd be just as safe. And I think I'd like the Gothitelle better. Regieleki, Gothitelle, Regidrago in the back. Uh, they only have one immunity and that's the Grimmsnarl, which I have to be pretty careful for. <sighs> no, I have to bring the Zacian, don't I? All right, no, no Reggie Drago this game. He's already done his job. We'll bring Rillaboom Zacian, just because it's a little bit more reliable, and I, I don't want to be in Great Ball Hell forever, you know. I'm assuming it's going to be Intimidate Salamence and not Moxie, mainly because with so many like very strong physical attackers running around, it's kind of hard to be able to afford to run non-Intimidate Pokemon. Needle Queen is very cool, though. I'll say that much. I mean, actually, this whole team looks cool. I'm really scared. Uh, I'm going to assume it's Dark-type Urshifu, though. Could also be the Water-type. I mean, they'd be doubling up on typings regardless, but I would assume their team would prefer the Dark-type because it's better at stopping Trick Room, and they seem to be more of a fast mode. All right. Urshifu, Needle Queen... Uh, I'm pretty cool with this lead. Pretty cool with this lead. I am Culperberry, so what I can do is fake out Nido Queen and Volt Switch on the Urshifu. Yeah. So they detect. That's fine. Not that this isn't, like, a scary lead regardless, but still. One would assume they would Earth Power the uh, Regieleki here. Volt Switch on you. I should live whatever they go for with the Urshifu, so I'm actually willing just to Psy Shock. And then I can get in my Rillaboom. And obviously they're not Scarf on the Nido Queen. They should be Life Orb. Which Rillaboom can eat an Earth Power pretty easily. But they should also recognize that a Sludge Bomb would still KO a non-Focus Sash Regieleki. So I would assume that they would just go for the Sludge Bomb, but I have to take the risk regardless, because I can't switch in my Zacian on an Earth Power, you know? It's a Sucker Punch. Makes sense. Gonna live without my Sash. Get that nice damage. Gonna get in the Rillaboom here. And Psyshock should put this, uh, it should put that Nidoqueen in range of Grassy Glide.
Oh, they called the sludge bomb. I live though. That's awesome. They did call that. That was that was really scary. All right, they should be in range of Grassy Glide now. So I'm going to take this opportunity to get in my Zacian for the Gothitelle slot. Or I could also Trick Room. I could also Trick Room calling them to want to... Ah, dang it. Um, I think they would protect here. Maybe I do this. Get in the Zacian. Because they should double protect. And they're stuck in here with me, so I can try another Psy Shock on the Needle Queen. Because they, they shouldn't go for an Earth Power here, I think. It's a little risky. Probably another double. Yeah, okay, good. And now they're sort of stuck in here with me. Um, I should be able to pick up a KO on the... I think I KO this Nido Queen here. Should be in Behemoth Blade range. I could also Protect and Psy Shock, and that might do it. It should do it from this range. Because I tank one hit from this Urshifu. Thanks to Culber Berry. Alright. Let's hope they didn't double. It'd be a very hard read if they did. Nice. Okay, so this should KO. It's going to be close. Nice. All right. Critical hit. I don't know how much that mattered. It might have been a roll, but I'm not certain. All right. There's the Ludicolo. They're still stuck in here with me. Definitely need this Rillaboom to win. Don't know how much Regieleki matters. I mean, Regieleki does always outspeed the Ludicolo, so that's kind of big. I think I'd rather have my Rillaboom than my Aleki. Check this out. Or I guess I should always attempt... Nah. All right, sub, Pokemon, Aleki. Uh, I hope I got it. I hope I got it. I don't think I did. Crap. Uh, I guess it doesn't make a, a difference because I could have just made like the same play. Like, I, I, I mean, that was the original play anyways. They're like, regardless, they took that from me. I suppose it doesn't make too big of a difference, but that's still a little annoying. That's still a little annoying. Because then I would have gotten my Goth Tell back in. Uh, I have to get in my Rillaboom here. I'm going to close combat, fake out the Urshifu. Because I think they might go hard into the, um, into the Kyogre. I would have been in a much better position had I actually gotten that move off.
All right, please tell me you scalded the, uh, <laughs> please tell me you scalded the, the Zacian. I'd much rather take damage on my Zacian here. Icy Wind, I think I might live that. Ooh, just barely, just barely. All right, um, I kind of have to make a hard read, and I don't like that I have to make this read, but I have to assume that there's Scarf on the Kyogre, which isn't fun, obviously. Oh, wait, no, Grass disappeared from the battlefield. Uh, yeah, okay. I can actually scout for Scarf here. Because I, I always get out my... I always get out my boy here. My Rillaboom. If there's Scarf, I should win, but it's going to be really close. And it also depends if they're like Muddy Water or Ludicolo. So I'm going to protect here, and I have to switch out and sack the Aleki. The Aleki is a lot less important to winning this game than, um... Than AV Rillaboom would be. Because if it is Scarf Ogre, it always dies to the Grassy Glide. But still, it's not a fun play to make. Goes for another Icy Wind. That doesn't reveal if it's Scarf or not. Mainly because Ludicolo at plus two should always should always outspeed Kyogre with the Scarf. So, gotta go off the assumption it's Scarf. That's my only chance. I could also go for a substitute here. Grassy Glide, and that might give me some kind of advantage, but it's still very close. Please be Scarf, please be Scarf, please be Scarf. Scarf is like kind of eh, in my opinion, but I really hope they're Scarf. Ah, oh, they're not Scarf, dang it, okay. Maybe they'll miss. Maybe they'll miss their Icy Wind. I don't believe it can miss. Yeah, okay. I at the very least got the sub up. <sighs> but I wasn't willing to uh I wasn't willing to bet that it wasn't Scarf. Had I actually called the had I called it not being Scarf and going for a Protect and I faked out, I had a chance to win there, but how many turns of rain are left? Three turns left of rain. Um, I'm still going to Protect here because I get a little bit of health back. And they're at full health, so I only benefit from this. If they miss a Muddy Water, I actually have a pretty solid chance of winning. If I, I have, they not only have to miss a Muddy Water, but I have to crit a close combat on this Kyogre. They connect. Okay, that's probably a game. And Water Spout. All right, good game. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, was not Scarf. I will hold that L. And um, I think I can get one more. I might have to cut it off there. It's already 12 p.m. Yeah, 24-minute uh, video, a little bit short, but I have to start driving home soon. So I'm going to get this edited and uploaded at 4 p.m. And I'm going to drive home. So apologies for the shorter video. I wanted to get something out for you guys today. And yeah. Uh, I actually do want to check out that team real quick. Ooh, okay. So they're pretty bulky. Mystic Water makes sense. They were Choice Scarf, Intimidate. Pretty interesting set. And Sheer Force, probably like 107 speed. 111, wonder what that's for.
Anyways, yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and get home. Let me know what you guys thought about today's session in the comment section down below. If you like, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.